Chase McGrath. For the no, 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 no. Cut the intro. Cut the intro. Cut the intro. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Just cut it. Y'all already know what I'ma do. Y'all already know what I'ma say. Y'all already know exactly what video I'm wanting to put up on the screen. And that's no fun if it's predictable, you know what I mean? So there's just no point in me doing that. Because you've seen it. You know what happened. You know how mad it makes you. It makes all Alabama fans mad. So there's no point in me doing it. From 40. On the way, a knuckleball. He got it! More than two times. On the way, a knuckleball. He got it! Okay, maybe three times. He got it! Maybe a little bit more than that. He got it! From 40. On the way, a knuckleball. He got it! Greenbow, Alabama! Anyway... Anyway, this is our first game under the sun in a very long time. So allow me to put these on. First of all, Alabama sucks. Remember back that, during that one time when you used to fear Alabama and you watched their logo and you're like, uh-oh, Alabama, you better watch out for them. They're beating up on everybody. Remember that time? Because I sure don't remember. That was so long ago. That was back when you used to have an elite defense. In fact, that was back when you used to have an elite team. Remember that? Remember when Alabama was so elite that nobody wanted to play them and they were just beating up on everybody in the playoffs, the national championship? Remember those fun times? Well, unlike you, I don't live in the past. I live in today. And today, Alabama sucks. In fact, Alabama just doesn't suck. They fucking suck. They suck so much that their head coach, Nick Saban, the guy who everybody loves, oh my gosh, Nick Saban, he's the best coach of all time in the history of history. He bolted out of Alabama to become a freaking TV analyst. Bro would rather be getting barked at by Pat McAfee than spend one more minute of his time coaching at Alabama. And to be fair, I wouldn't want to be the coach Filled with a fan base full of cousin fucking diddy loving hillbillies like Alabama fans are. These Alabama fans are so moronic, they want their entire coaching staff gone every time somebody loses a game. Alabama fans are down horrendous this season. They figured out that they can't just win a national championship every single year, and they're jumping off the bus in bulk. Moving to other fan bases. Hey, hey, I'll tell you what. It's not too late. Come join this fan base. You're going to find out real quick how much better we are than you. Things are so bad down in Alabama now that you lost your main guy in Nick Saban. You bring in this guy, Kalen DeBoer. We got Kalen DeBoer, squeed tar. Suck my Kalen DeBalls. What's Kalen DeBoer's record against Tennessee, huh? Look at that. Look at that. It's a big fat donut. He has no wins. No wins against Tennessee all time. And we've got no losses against him either. But I guarantee you this, a big old W's coming in our favor, and we're going to be 1-0 all time against your coach. Of course, I already know you're going to be running around with that streak. Alabama is like 17 of like 18 against Tennessee in the last something, something, something year. Just a bunch of cherry-picked stats nobody cares about because you know why? The coach behind it isn't there anymore. And you act like you're so special that you beat Tennessee a bunch of times in the 2010s. So did everybody else. Everybody beat Tennessee from 2010 to 2020. You're not special. Look at Florida. That streak that they have is all they have left. There is nothing there for them. Now they're getting destroyed by Tennessee every single year like they should be. Now they're running, running around crying, jumping off and fire Billy Napier. That's what y'all are going to be doing real, real soon once Tennessee beats you too. Kalen DeBoer so bad that he has yet to play Tennessee, and he's already 0-1 against the state of Tennessee! He's 0-1 against the state of Tennessee. You know what? You want to know what Nick Saban did? He never lost to... I, I want to I, I get real up close to the mic when I tell you this one. Listen, listen. Li I want you to listen real close to what I have to say. <laughs> Kalen DeBoer is so bad, he lost to Vandy. <laughs> Uh, 
Vandy! He lost to Vandy! He, Kalen DeBoer lost to Vanderbilt. Josh Heupel's record against Vanderbilt is 3-0, and by the way. He's undefeated against Vanderbilt. Josh Heupel is undefeated against Vandy. You are winless against Vandy. Oh, yeah? Well, we beat Georgia, though. Whee! Congratulations. You beat Georgia in a regular season game. Great job. Good job. Way to go. Don't, don't forget that. I mean, for, just forget the fact you lost to Vanderbilt. Right after you beat him, you know. But, no, you beat Georgia. Congratulations. Wee! <laughs> Wee! Then you go on the next week after you lose to Vandy and almost almost lose at home to Shane Beamer. To Shane Beamer. Oh, my gosh. They had beat you. That might have been their next biggest win in program history after they beat Tennessee. Would, would beating Tennessee on the road be Kalen DeBoer's biggest win in his coaching history? I don't know, maybe. Remember that one time he made a national championship? That what? Just to get blown out by a bunch of cheaters? It is Neiman Stadium. Neiman Stadium is just Bryant Denny North, sweetheart. How? When? Bryant Denny North? By what definition? How do you, what do you mean, Bryant Denny North? The last time you rolled up in a Neyland Stadium, we put a 50-piece on you. We scored more points against you than anybody has in over a freaking century. What do you mean, Bryant Denny North? How, what, what sense does that make? What sense at all? Yes, we are. Well, well, Ryan Williams is 17, sweetheart. He's the best wide receiver we've ever had in the history of history. Ryan Williams is 17. I couldn't give any less of a rhinoceros' balls what age Ryan Williams is. He sucks. He had less than 50 yards against South Carolina's defense. And you're telling me that I'm supposed to fear Ryan Williams? Get out of here, man! I'd like to thank you in advance for fixing Nico's passing game. You want to make fun of the fact that Nico has not looked very good in the last two games? Sure, go right ahead. But I'd like to thank you in advance for fixing that because he's liable to light y'all up for 300 passing yards. That's friggin' terrible secondary. That, that, that Alabama secondary might be the worst secondary I've seen in my entire lifetime. Let me tell you something. If Lenora Sellers can light up that Alabama secondary, I most guarantee you Tennessee is liable to do the exact same thing. Lenora Sellers might be the worst quarterback in the SEC, bar none, and somehow you still made him look elite. And oh Lord, don't even get me started on this dude Malachi Moore, number 13 on Alabama's roster. At the end of the Vanderbilt game, you know, the one you got owned in by Vandy, who Tennessee's undefeated against the last three years, entire Josh Heupel's career. I don't know if you knew that, but... Just wanted to let you know. Anyway, uh, Malachi Moore. Malachi Moore. This guy, he's he's so mad at the end of the Vanderbilt game. He's sitting in there, and, the, you know, the referee plays down the ball, and here it comes. He, uh, 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 he kicks the ball. <laughs> and any, if this were a Nick Saban-led team, the moment he sees that, he might be he might be out of a, <laughs> out of a career by that. He'd throw that guy out. So fast, you wouldn't be able to keep track of it. But this guy, this guy, Malachi Moore, does this. And, you know, they're trying to sub him out for somebody else. And he says, no, I'm not going to go out. And so they're like, okay. Okay, now I guess he stays. You're are, like, are you for real? Are you really going to let that guy boss you around? You're supposed to be a coach. You're supposed to coach these people to make them good. Not just good at football, but good in life, too. Letting him stay out like that was the most beta thing I've ever seen from a coach. That was so beta. Look, Bama, Bama, Bama fans, you had a fantastic run. Everybody's going to remember the legendary dynasty that Nick Saban had at Alabama. But he's gone. Kalen DeBoer lost to Vanderbilt. And he's soon to have his second loss and be 0-2 against the state of Tennessee when he rolls into Neyland Stadium. Not Brian Denny North. Neyland Stadium. Remember that name. It's going to be very important. He's going to roll into Neyland Stadium and take the belt to ass whooping of a lifetime. So go ahead. 
Get out your cup chairs, sit down, and watch yourselves take the absolute beating of a lifetime against the Volunteers. See you tomorrow, Bama. 3.30. Come take your whooping like a man. Woo! Alabama!